And in this tutorial, I will show you how I created this chore chart to help us keep track of everything that needs to get done in our apartment. That way we make sure everything is on a steady rotation. Both of us are contributing to the household chores and it just helps us keep everything more organized and under control before tasks get too big to the point where you just don't even want to do them anymore. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, let me know in the comments below. I actually really love organizing and cleaning. It just makes me feel good. So if you want to see videos geared towards that, I would love to make some for you. But I also just want to make sure I'm giving my subscribers what they like to watch. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoy this kind of thing. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos, and follow me on social media at Katrinaosity. The first thing you'll need to do is find a printable calendar. I recommend printable because then it is one month for each eight and a half by 11 page. They're easy to find and you can just print them off in your regular old printer. Then it is time to assemble all of your chores. I highly recommend assembling them and color coding them based on the frequency in which they need to be done. Then remove any excess writing so you can save your magnetic sheets because they tend to be expensive. And then make sure everything is double spaced. Next, you'll need your sheet of magnetic paper, and this is glossy on one side and plain black magnetic on the other. And this loads into just about any inkjet printer. Because it does curl on itself, you'll probably have to hold it up in place as it prints. And you'll also need to make sure that you adjust all of your printer and computer settings to accept this glossy paper as well as paper that's a little bit heavier. Mine will only go through the rear tray on my printer or basically any printer that it loads through the top and then comes out the front after it's printed. And once that is printed off, you're ready to start cutting the magnetic sheet. I highly recommend that to get full advantage of this one sheet of magnet, you cut off the outer edge or the area that won't be covering any of your calendar, just wide enough so that it can hold the sheet of paper onto the fridge and keep it from coming up at the edge. Then you're ready to start cutting all of your tasks into strips. And this is part of the reason you need them double spaced. When you can have wider pieces, then it's more surface area sticking to your refrigerator or metal surface, and it makes the magnets more powerful. Once you've cut out all of your strips of writing, you can cut out each individual task from the strips, and then you have all of your magnets ready to go. You can keep all of the as needed ones at the top of the magnet. You put that border around your upper or current month, and then next month goes below so that you can move things down as you accomplish them this month. I also highly recommend that you print a key so you can see at a glance based on what the color of the task is, where you need to move it down on your chart once you've already completed that task. So for instance, purple is as needed, so I just move that up to the top. Bathroom is orange, so that means I do that three times a week, and I already have two others that week, so I move it down to the next week. And I also recommend that you print off little pieces that have your daily chores just so you can keep track of everything that you have to do at a glance. I love this because it goes on the fridge, it stays out of the way, and it helps me stay organized. Let me know if you want to see more organization DIYs like this one, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.